Now, of course, before we can set out to explore the solar system, we've got a few minor problems to overcome. Not the least of which is, every time we launch, it costs the U.S. taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes? If you want to save money, why don't you land the booster rockets instead of letting them drop in the ocean? <laughs> That's a cute idea, but uh, it's not technically possible. Why not? Well, it's hard to explain. The math is pretty complicated. Perhaps I could help you with it. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. I'll tell you what. Here is a NASA patch. Why don't you have your mom sew that on your book bag? Now, who here wants to know how astronauts go to the bathroom? Oh, right. See, now, during liftoff, all the astronauts wear diapers. People often wonder why I chose to pursue a career in theoretical physics. I usually respond by saying I wanted to unravel the inner workings of the universe. Yeah, perhaps when Captain Kirk said to boldly go, he meant in one of those, huh? <laughs> but the real answer was I wanted to prove this nincompoop wrong. Hello. Yes, you can help me, Dorothy Fitzpatrick. I'm interested in taking out a second mortgage. I'm nine years old, why do you ask? That's called age discrimination, Dorothy, but I'm willing to let it slide. I'm glad you find me cute, but I'm deadly serious. I need funds to buy a computer. No, the house isn't in my name, I'm nine. We've established this. I do prepare the taxes for my parents, and if we tighten our belts, we'll have sufficient equity for the loan. Sheldon, who are you talking to? Dorothy Fitzpatrick. Who's Dorothy Fitzpatrick? Is she a new buddy from school? She's the loan officer at the First National Bank of Medford. Why are you talking to her? Mom, can this wait? I'm trying to negotiate favorable terms. Hello, Dorothy? All right, I finally got him calmed down. How'd you manage that? Easy. Gave him a hug and a little cough syrup. Mom, it's not like he's operating heavy machinery. Can't keep putting up with this behavior. We need to ground him. How? If you say no playing outside, he says thank you. Well, we need to do something. It's just a tantrum. It's what kids do. You used to punish me all the time. That was different. You were a pain in the ass. I say no Radio Shack for at least a month. Sounds fair. I'll go tell him. I'd wait and tell him tomorrow. He's a little loopy right now. <laughs> Night. She drugged our son. <laughs>